Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Been hunting for a cargo container for quite a while now, but they are harder to get than ever because there's tons of them out on ships off the coast of California. I don't know if the workforce is a little light down at the ports, but they don't want to load these things, so it makes them hard to get. They're more expensive if you want to get one. So I've been trying to find one that's affordable, shopping privately, and I'll tell you this much, unless you can actually go over there and physically touch the cargo container that you are buying, do not waste your time on it because more than likely you're getting scammed over. But I want to get the shop cleaned out before winter hits. I got tons of clutter all around the workplace. I got shelves, I got engines, all this stuff. I need to push it outside, but I don't want it to get rained on. Cargo container is the best option for this. So I find one on Facebook Marketplace, a private ad, talk to the guy. I'm getting a weird vibe. I don't think it's actually where it's at. And I've told you guys before, I don't like buying stuff from weird people. I'd rather go buy something more expensive from someone I trust, but it's getting a little bit of a weird market. Guy ends up selling it from underneath me. Lo and behold, the guy's got a second one. It happens to be right down the road from my house, so I can actually go down there, physically touch the thing, see it for myself in person before I send a transport guy over there. But this is a weird cat that I'm going to be buying from. So I'm a little creeped out. Don't want to really want to make the deal. I don't even know if this thing's his. If it's, he might be, you know, it might be a scam. It's out in the middle of the field, but he's got a key for the lock. He opens it up, shows me the contents, tells me all the stories about the thing. So I'm thinking it really is his. But here's the catch. Container guy's not going to be there for like three days to haul this thing to my house. And the guy wants the money up front. I'm thinking no way in the world am I going to give the guy the money up front in full for this thing and wait it out. So I didn't. I waited until the cargo container hauler could be there that day. And as he was backing up to it, I gave him the cash to be safe. But uh, man, I, it was definitely a sketchy situation. Not very proud of buying from weird people. But sometimes... You gotta roll up your sleeves and, and uh, you know, I'm happy with it now, but check it out. It's pretty good. He's still moving it as he's driving off. All remote control. And then, oh, really? Really? No shit. We just showed up with the uh, new container. <laughs> Tagged the vulture. Can't even tell. Ram tough. Anyway, we've got the first one to drop her off. All right, small world funny story for you guys right here. The driver right here, technically this is the first time I met him um, in person via, I've known him on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, talk cargo containers and talk political BS and had just good jokes and stuff like that. So I met him today for the first time in person after all the social media contact, which is typical. I got a lot of friends I've known just from social media. When I'm talking to him for a little bit and I look and I'm like, man, I need to look familiar. And I was like, you happen to be selling a triple axle toy hauler about six years ago? And he's like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, and you were working for a different outfit that sold cargo containers. And he said, yeah. And he tells me the name. I was like, yeah. The whole person, the whole time I've been reciting these old prices to, because my Uncle Mark, who's tagged along today, you guys seen him before, he bought a cargo container back in the day, 40-footer, delivered, taxed and everything, 1900 bucks, which is way less than half what I paid for this one. He bought it from this guy when he worked for a different outfit. Since then, they went and started their own business, and it's just small world right there. But I thought that was kind of cool. I uh, already knew the guy. Didn't even realize it. Funny. Yeah, and we plowed a vulture with it when he drove this thing over here. That's another weird story. First day, huh? Oh, good. Good lord. It makes life so easy. <laughs> Finally. Soaked to have him bring the container here because I've been talking to him for a freaking like year about bringing one or buying one from him or whatever. And they're just so hard to get. Yeah, boy. That is pretty much the most BA setup for moving containers. OG 5500, as in an 18, in the meanest container hauling trailer I think I've seen. He having fun in there. How you doing, big buddy? So here's my new 
partially regrettable purchase, but it was very much needed. Got me a 40 foot Connex. This thing is gonna house all my extra spare parts and stuff until I break down and actually put in the extension on the shop or build a whole new shop. But I just needed to get some of the clutter out. This was definitely a stressful situation. I bought it from somebody that I'm not really very happy about, <laughs> but it was local, I needed it. And for the market right now, it was a pretty fair price. So I'm gonna pressure wash this thing out right now. Oh, I gotta get those two chains down still. It was lined with uh, baling twine. Okay, you definitely use this thing as a drying shed, but you know, it is what it is. These things are hard to find right now. Now comes the challenging part. I gotta move. I got all these engines, got the shelving, get all that thing packed out to the cargo container so we can start working on the car. That'll free up a lot of the clutter, mainly get rid of that, get the tires, and then I have basically upstairs, it's got a lot of stuff in it, which is fine. That's got, uh, you know, oil filters and, you know, all that stuff that's, uh, wear and tear items you always got to have extras of so i'll keep that there but i got x amount of new tires dirt bikes uh this bike was brand new when i bought it and it's got 30 hours on it <laughs> so i want to get all this out of here you're going to be ditching a lot of that stuff that was from uh, taylor's grandparents house weed eaters and stuff like that and put all that out in the cargo container just need to clear up the workspace you know pop-up tents for paint booths and stuff like that extra oil Settling oxygen bottles and stuff like that. We need to get her cleared out. Oh, there's a big key right there. We need to get rid of the, uh, get the Jennies out of here too. Don't need them inside the shop. Yep. Wow, that was close. Don't you break shelf. You guys are familiar with these goofy shelves? They slide in from the top down, so I screwed the bottom shelf in so, we'll, so I can lift it. Or else they just pop right out. Very annoying to move. Ew. It's that little guy. Don't worry about that little guy. Check out the other channel for that guy. She came out of the shop also. I took it out a couple months back. Man, one of the main reasons I want to get the cargo before uh, rain hits because I had stuff like this. It would be nice for putting, I don't know, at least transfer cases, drive lines and stuff like that in there. Uh, I'll knock this off, but I don't really have a use for these, but I didn't want to throw them away. They're kind of nice. Filing cabinets for tiny parts, so I'm gonna try and sneak this thing in there. See if it works. <laughs> this is where it gets tricky. I, uh, I don't know. I'll try to film it. You get that blocked in. Deal. I don't believe it. The damn five gallon bucket's holding it. Don't hit the freaking cars. No, I'm hitting the Connex anyway. There's a step right there. There we go. Good old five gallon bucket. Yeah, she's shaping up, boys. Oh, man. It's like these things took up so much space in the shop, but in the Connex, they barely, I mean, I feel like I'm just getting started. I'll idle her down for this one. B pump 24 valve. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's kind of not. Guys, this is what mid-shop destruction looks like. Got tons of room for my car over there, though. Oh, that's nice. Halfway thinking, put a second story up there. Not so much for storage, but then we can have an isolated little paint booth in the corner. But I don't know, this area over here is just kind of awkward, being that it's got this big office. 
But what I'm doing now, this is all, look at that stack of freaking hope caps. That's all stuff to go to the cargo container. I'll show you guys how that's looking here in a second. But this is like the old office for the, I guess, um, the business that was in here before. Taylor's uh, sister hooked us up with this, or hooked me up with it, the whole thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn this into, I'm gonna keep this for Callahan so that he can have his own little room. So he can be hanging out down here in the shop. I'm gonna get new carpet, probably, I don't know, whiteboard something. But anyway, I get a little inspection spot. I can see him. You guys harping on me about cleaning the shop, but I'm, I'm cleaning her. But check this out. I mean, this got dump trailer just full of stuff. I was storing a bunch of antique stuff that we just don't even go mess with. But I'm gonna, I'll show you guys more of this later on, but pretty hyped on how this is coming together so this is old workbench storing the deaf stuff on it, tire machine jenny's weed eater and tires eat up a ton of space so i was like man if i could get them up on top of this thing that'll be money got the engines back here i gotta fix a hole but it's nice to have that little vent right there so i'm debating on um some kind of window or something right there but, yeah, she's coming. She's coming along. She's coming. <laughs> well, slowly, we are making progress, guys. I'm doing this all by myself down here, so it's taking a little bit longer than I would like it to, but I'm very happy with the outcome. Got this back corner all cleaned up. Got that corner cleaned up. Got that bench that's out in the container. I'll show you in a second with the tires on it. But that was all workbench over there. Ate up a ton of room. I had cabinet there. That was all stuff that was there when we moved into the shop. Same thing with all those shelves over there. I should have just taken care of those things right from the get-go, but, you know, hindsight, 2020. And, you know, if you ever bought a house, property shop, or anything like that, it's a little bit stressful kind of dealing with the transition phase of going through the realtor and banking and all that BS, but we're getting it all sorted now. So this corner has been like the ongoing project spot. I just, this is where the projects normally just sit until they're done and getting worked on. But the charger is most definitely next. You have to tune into my uh, new channel to see that one. Hopefully, I'll fire that up pretty quick. I got some pretty, pretty sweet. I mean, very awesome. Classic muscle car content and just cars in general. I got a new car. I want to put that on that channel, but I want to keep this channel strictly for diesel truck, towing, forestry, stuff like that, and shop content on that, you know, kind of a topic. But just looking at how this one's doing. I got cabinets for paint, I got cabinets for truck parts, I got stuff to store stuff down in there. But this room right here is probably the biggest transition or transformation transition. I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, so you guys know we had a son, Callahan. Um he's eight months old now. So he's you know, he needs a little playroom down here. So I had no problem getting rid of all the junk in here. We did uh, get new car new couches and new uh, hardwood floor for the house, so I saved a piece of the carpet, saved a little couch. Uh, brought it down here you can see what the old stuff was gave her a good cleaning slapped this carpet down here so i'm gonna put a little gate right here so he can't get out of you know his little zone area and i can look in from over there at it at him but boys i'll tell you it has been a non-stop just everything going on around the property and it feels nice that i was actually able to take time out to get this taken care of stoked my uncle was able to help me get the cargo container that one day because i mean i was just i was running around with the chicken hood cut off situation hopefully you guys can see in here got an old weed eater gas you know oriented kind of stuff right there got the jennies another tire machine don't worry about that got the bikes in here you know look at this is that other workbench but it's got awesome shelves on the bottom of it so i had to save it and i'm um, glad i got all this taken care of before the weather started this container actually cleaned up very damn good. I was like pretty impressed, judging by some of the other ones I've seen since then. But this is gonna be, so far this is just exhaust stuff and like five speed conversion leftovers. This is all a bunch of automatic parts. You got the B-Pump 24 valve, grandma's old engine. I'm gonna get that thing fixed, fix it myself. We're gonna put a new long block on it and figure out what's going on with it, but yeah. Look at all them tires though. So I got new tires for the dually. Got new tires for the water wagon. This is extra set of third gen Alco, not Alco, it's third gen Laramies. And then we got some sponsor tires for uh, the 67, which is that guy over there. 
that's going to be um, another round of donated to the town for this holiday season. They really like that truck. They like that antique. It's not really, I guess, an antique or just classic farmyard kind of look. Uh, this is a 66, a year before that one, but it's a crew cab. And man, if you haven't seen that video, it's been, uh, well, cab swapped. It's, got a, it's on the chassis of a 98 12 valve. So anyway, long winded outro guys, but I am just, I'm thrilled at how all this has come together. This is some of the stuff you should have do. Like when you move into a new place, if it's a nice clean slate, yeah, that's, that's definitely preferred route, but this one came with a lot of goodies and you know, I still got all kinds of stuff for semis and stuff like that up there. I had a brand new fast that I put on grandma's truck that I found in this shop stuff that was left over and those charger parts. I think I showed you guys those. Hopefully I did. Uh, where are they at? Check this out. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Check this out. Got door cranks and this was found in the shop. Charger damn badge. Cannot believe that. It was on one of those shelves. So anyway, check out the uh, Samson Andrew vlog channel and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about how clean the shop finally is. Got the lights, got it cleaned up. You guys should be happy. Next, um, for shop itself, I would like to paint it. I just comment below. I remember when I first got this place, I told you guys to tell me a color. Uh, I don't know. I need a light color so it's not hot in there. But comment a color you guys think this thing should be. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys later.